What's up guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Yellow Walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we actually defeated Koga for our, what, let's see, 6th, 7th, 8th? Officially 6th badge. Yeah, because we kind of like, you know, went in reverse, got the March badge first before Rainbow and, and Soul badge. So yeah, we are, you know, a few bar badges deep, and now it is time for us to actually go to Cinnabar Island. Now, here's the thing. We can go one of two ways to Cinnabar Island, one through Fuchsia City, and the other one through Pallet. As many of you guys already know, I am actually going to be saving the legendary Pokemon for last after the game is completed. And so, that means we're going to be going straight to Pallet Town right here. That way we can actually find out what else we can actually do right here. So, here we are, back home, Pallet Town. It's been a while. Not really, but you know what I mean. And what you're going to be needing right here is a Pokemon that knows how to surf. And a boatload of repels, which I actually got off screen before, you know, I had to go back and forth right here. So here we go, we found a repel. And now it is time for us to move on. Now, as you can see, there is grass right here. You can actually find some pretty cool Pokemon. Not, well, not some cool Pokemon, but yeah, you're going to be finding some Pokemon right there. Now, here we're going to be finding trainers as well. So what's going to happen is this is going to be the Sir Razor Aaliyah show right here. So let's go right ahead. And uh, the fish are biting. Yes, they are biting. Okay, so here we go, guys. Another battle. Another fisherman. And he wants to battle. And he's going to be com coming out with a Sea King right here. And, well, let's go with a Thunderbolt. Now, it's never too late to actually get your experience points. Many of you guys can see, I have the most... Well, all my, team is, uh, or all my team members are at level 40. And now 41 for Aaliyah. And I did that through a lot of grinding, and wow, well, look at this, Aaliyah is learning Thunder. And it is a huge risk to actually have Thunder instead of Thunderbolt. So, what's going to happen is, I'm actually going to abandon uh, learning Thunder for the time being. Yes, I'll, I'll relearn it eventually. Um, thunder is very inaccurate when it comes to, uh, you know, powerful moves. Plus, yeah, yeah, I kind of don't want to waste a spot right there, since I already have, like, Four, four decent moves that can actually help me out in the long run, especially in Pokemon uh, Stadium, which we will be getting to. So, there you go. Mega Drain does its thing. Look at that. Goldeen doesn't like me. And, well, our Pokemon is learning. And, well, we're going to continue on right here with Sir Razor. And eventually, I'm going to be changing up the move sets for Sir Razor, because it's more of a physical than, uh, than special attacker right here. And, well, here comes a Peg Attack. Didn't know that was super effective. Actually, I did. So there you go. Seeking defeated. I am feeling good, feeling great. And well, coming out with another Seeking. Well, let's go right ahead and go with Sir Razor right here. Let's go right ahead and do this. And just like that, Sir Razor has uh, not defeated this guy yet. And there comes another peg attack, which is not great. So here we go. Mega Drain for the win. And Sir Razor is the victor in this whole shindig right here. And, well, let's see. That is pretty much it for Fisherman. And he's like, dang. That's right. Dang. All right, let's continue on right here. Just battling everybody. Now, will I battle everybody? Probably not. Kind of want to get to Cinnabar Island. I don't know. And, yeah, this guy has six Pokemon. It can only mean this. Magikarp. The man's enemy. And all that stuff. So, anywho, guys, uh, we are close to being done with Pokemon Yellow, believe it or not. And, uh, yeah, we are going to continue on our adventure right here, going into Pokemon Crystal. And uh, some of you guys are already asking, hey, so what about Pokemon Journeys HD? Have you started anything on there? Well, so far we have, but I'm still waiting on you guys to actually vote on Pokemon that can go, or that I need to trade. In order to, you know, make teams right there in Pokemon Red and Blue. And quite, so, quite possibly Green. And just like that, Magikarp defeated. And, well, let's see. Another Magikarp coming in. Yeah. Yeah, we're just going to grind. We're just going to hit him with Thunderbolts and all that stuff. So, yeah. Like I said, guys, I've captured uh, Pokemon in the Safari Zone. Some that, you know, you can't actually capture. Which, you know, it, it's pretty cool. It's, it's it's actually pretty cool that, you know, I got Kangaskhan, got True Dratinis, and all that stuff. I can actually use them now in the other games, which I kind of want to do, especially for Stadium. And, well, like I said, it's just a matter of you guys voting which teams are which 
because eventually I'm going to have to start up on those games and trade them over. And well, there comes Magikarp. And just like that, another one bites the dust right here. Not only that, but we, I think we're in a pretty good uh, position right here to actually beat the Elite Four, especially with like level 40 Pokemon. And look at this. Okay. He's like, damn, my darn Magikarp. Okay, so let's move on right here. Let's see. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Okay, so let's go ahead and surf right here and just battle every Speedo Torpedo out there. The sea cleanses my body and soul. Hmm. I thought it was a, the torpedoes, the Speedo Torpedoes that you guys have. Okay, so here we go. Swimmer wants to battle. Coming out with a Seedra. Oh, look at that. I got a Seedra myself. And well, here comes a Thunderbolt. Oops. I did it again. And Seedra defeated. And well, let's see. Here comes a Tentacruel. Yeah, I'm going to continue on with uh, Aaliyah right here because Tentacruel is a poison and uh, water type Pokemon. And just like that, nearly defeated him, but look at this, it's paralyzed. Okay. And that poison sting's going to hit us a little hard. And well, let's go with the body slam. And just like that, Tentacruel has been defeated. And no more Swimmer or Speedo Torpedo. He's like, ah, yeah. Now, it's actually a good thing that we actually did not learn uh, Thunder because already we would, we've already been down. We would have already been out of PP for the whole electric type attack. So here we go. Going up against the. Wait, they know how to swim? What the hell? Okay, so Q Ball has come out to battle, and well, we have to <laughs> do something right here. And let's go with a psychic attack. Let's go. Okay, alrighty, alrighty, and Tentacool has been defeated. Yeah, buddy. And let's see, he's coming out with another Tentacool. Let's just continue on with Ultra Psycho. Again, I'm actually very, very happy with the way my team's going, and oh, it's gonna continue on right here. Look at this, Tentacool defeated. Mm-hmm. And well, let's see, Tentacruel will be coming out, so Ultra Psycho, easy breezy right here. Let's go, Psychic Attack for the win. And just like that, Tentacruel defeated once more. Okay, alrighty. And say hello to level 41, so we're slowly but surely growing levels. And look at this, Cheap Tot. It's not really a cheap shot when we beat you like that, so... Yes, we are going to be continuing on right here, guys, and we might even be skipping a few trainers. Maybe all of them. Well, not all of them. Let's go right ahead and battle these guys. Hey, don't scare the fish away. Hmm. Is it true while sw while fishing, guys, that you can scare the fish away? Comment down below. Not much of a fisherman myself, but you know what I mean. So here we go. Ultra Psycho ready to take on some shelter right here. Let's go with a psychic attack. And just like that, Shelter has been defeated. And well, this guy's gonna be coming out with a Cloister. Now this is a bit of a risk. Actually, you know what, I'm gonna continue on with Ultra Psycho because it is also a nice type Pokemon. Completely forgot about that, so here we go. Psychic Attack for the win. And Cloister defeated. And yes, the Fisherman is not too happy. He's like, said, I didn't mean it, okay. All right, let's switch it up. Let's see what else, what are, what other new cool and poke or what other cool new Pokemon we might find right here. So let's go ahead, and talk to this guy. Keep me in company until I hit, get a hit. All right, till you get a hit, and let's see what he's got. So here we go. Fisherman wants the battle. Coming out with a Sea King. Now I've been asking this question for quite some time, guys. If a Sea King happens to be a female. Does it does it become a or doesn't it automatically be called a sea queen? Comment down below, guys. Just want to know. And look at this. Okay, so there we go. A tail whip attack is gonna hit us. So here we go. Mega Drain for the win. And there goes sea queen or sea queen or I don't even know how to call it. And look at this. Level 41. Great. And well, we're gonna be going with a another Pokemon right here. So let's go with Aaliyah. See what Aaliyah can actually do right here. Okay. Bring it on, Goldine. And here comes a Thunderbolt attack. And the Thunderbolt attack. Does it do it? Can it do it? Yes, it can. 
Okay, alrighty, okay. And just like that, another fisherman has been defeated. And, well, let's see, I think we've defeated every single one of these guys right here. Actually, what the hell am I doing? Okay, so, let's see, let's go with Torpedo. Okay, alrighty, swimming through, and there is another trainer that we see, so let's go ahead and battle her. I call all my Pokemon at sea. Not bad, not bad at all. Okay, so, here we go, oh, it's a guy, never mind. Okay, and he's coming out with a Starmie. So let's go with Sir Razor right here. And Sir Razor, gonna go with the Mega Drain. And bam. Now here's a quick thing, okay? Now I did say I was gonna play Pokemon Green as well. Did say that, okay? Now, I do not know if you can actually trade Pokemon from green to red, blue, or yellow. Hell, even use a, use it on the, on the whatchamacallit, on Pokemon Stadium. But if in the event it doesn't happen, I do have a plan to where I can actually get those Pokemon, the team, you know, onto Pokemon Stadium. They will be included. Kind of want to make everybody, you know, kind of want to make everybody uh, featured right there on Pokemon Stadium. Okay. So here we go. Ah, feel the sun and the wind. Okay. All right. Let's go. Bring it on. So here we go. Taking on another swimmer, and he's coming out with a Poliwhirl. And I'm kind of hoping that this guy does not know any kind of fighting type moves because we're already at a disadvantage. And well, there's a water gun attack hitting us pretty hard right there. And let's see what the earthquake attack right now. And there we go. Polyworld has been defeated with one attack. And Terramon grows to level 41, which is great. And he's going to be coming out with a. Well, with a witch, you call it a tentacool. So let's go right ahead and just beat these guys right here with the uh, good old Aaliyah. And there we go, Aaliyah, taking care of business right here. Look at that. Okay, alrighty. And well, look at that, level 42, which is great. And coming out with a seizure. Let's continue on right here with Leah. And there we go. Let's do this. Okay, and a Thunderbolt does its trick. So happy about that. Okay, alrighty. So we're getting experience points. We're winning. We're doing things. And now we're moving on right here. Hopefully we are close to the end. And yeah, we are. Like I said, I am, I am going to be skipping a few trainers here and there. So here we are, guys, in Cinnabar Island. Now there is something pretty cool about this. Not so cool, I should say. The door is locked. Okay, I didn't even press any buttons. The door is locked, and it's for a very, very good reason. Now, this guy right here is like, scientists conduct experiments in the burnt-out building. Hmm. Okay. Cinnabar Island's Jim, uh, uh, or Cinnabar's Jim Blaine is an odd man who, li who has lived here for decades. True. Now, we're going to be finishing off this episode right here on a small tour of this area right here. And actually, hold on just a sec. Hold the phone. I just realized something. Okay. There is a little something, something that I, I, I realize. It just occurred to me, guys. It, it really has. Um, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to deposit two Pokemon. Okay. And then I'm going to go straight to my, my very own PC. And we're going to grab ourselves the fossils because now we have reached... Uh, oh, crud. Huh. Okay. I have to deposit a few things. Okay. So let's see. Hmm. You know what, let me deposit... Or let me just... Oh yeah, okay, well, deposit the TMs. We're, we, we really need the space right here, especially since we're going to be going into the uh, into the other... Or the burnt uh, area right there. So let's go right ahead and come right here. How many TMs do I have? Holy crud. Okay, and then what else? What else? What else? Put that there. You know what, let's just put all the TMs away. I don't... No, I don't really remember why I have all these TMs right here. Of course, good old Draven's forgetful about a lot of things. So let's go right ahead and throw them away. Or not throw them away, but just put them away and make some space for other things too. Sooner rather than later, you'll probably I'll probably figure out why I had these TMs. So, okay, so we deposited all those TMs. Now let's go ahead and grab ourselves the fossils that we got a while back. And just like that, 
we can go into the what you might call it uh well this area right here now there's something that i've never ever ever seen before guys never even bothered to check up and that is this portrait right here a photo lab or a photo of the lab's founder dr fuji yeah never even bothered in all my life to even see this portrait it actually makes sense now I mean, I always thought that Professor or, you know, I always thought that Mr. Fuji was just a regular dude, but no, he had a part in the whole Mewtwo thing. Now, let's see, if you talk to this guy, hello there, do you want to trade your Golduck for a Rhydon? Do not have a Golduck yet. Yeah, okay, I found this very, very strange fossil in Mount Moon. I think it's a rare prehistoric Pokemon. Now, this might be the Pokemon trainer that we've defeated back in Mount Moon. Hi, do you have a Growlithe? You want to trade it for a Dugong? I think I do have a, a Growlithe, I just don't know... Yeah, I just don't know if I... Well, yeah, I probably, I don't even know. We'll capture Growlithe eventually. And, well, let's see. The Repels <laughs> has gone off. Eevee can evolve into one of three Pokemon. Or one of three kinds of Pokemon, which is true. And, tick, 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 I made this cool TM. It can cause all kinds of fun. And here we have the TM35, which is Metronome. And that's the sound of a metronome. It tweaks your Pokemon's brain into using moves it doesn't know. Hmm. That's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I don't know. Okay, so here we are in the main area that we need to talk to. And I'm looking for a Kangaskhan. Want to trade it for a Muck? I actually caught a Kangaskhan, guys. But I really don't want to trade it for a Muck. So, <sighs> you know what? I'm probably going to have to capture another Kangaskhan. Just, just for that, okay? So, if you go right here, talk to this individual. Ha! Huh. I'm an important doctor. I study uh, here uh, rare Pokemon fossils. You! Have you fo have a fossil for me? Yes, I do. Let's go ahead and give him the Dome Fossil. It's a fossil of a Kabuto, a Pokemon that is already extinct. My resurrection machine will take that Pokemon to live again, and yes, we will actually give him that fossil. Once we do, we're gonna, t you know, we're gonna have to step outside and then, you know, get that Pokemon and all that crud. So let's go right ahead and do that. We're gonna do that. And stepping outside and going back in. And well, let's see, let's see, let's see. Right up here. And once we got back inside, where were you? Your fossil is back to life. It was a Kabuto, like I think. And there it is, we got ourselves a Kabuto. No, we're not nicknaming this Pokemon. Go ahead and talk to him again. And we're gonna give him the old amber yes it is a fossil too and this one will actually turn into an aerodactyl pokemon is already extinct my resurrection machine will make that pokemon live again yes go ahead and do that and yes we're gonna be going out for a walk again because well why not right so we're walking out we're walking out and we're going back in and let's see what this guy has to say now for the you know, for for the fossil. So here we go. Talk to him. Where were you? Your fossil's back to life. I it was an aerodactyl, like I think. And there it is. We got ourselves an aerodactyl. No, we're not nicknaming this guy. Let's go ahead and take a look at these new Pokemon right here. So here we have Kabuto at level 30. It is both a rock and water type Pokemon. Does have pretty good defense. You know, everything in between. And it has some basic attacks, which eventually it will evolve at level 40. And then here we have Aerodactyl, a very powerful, very capable Pokemon. Rock and flying, its speed is through the roof, and everything else in between is just pretty good. This guy right here can actually can actually do some damage if used right. Eventually, we will be able to see this Pokemon later on into the Pokemon League. But right now, we are going to be staying cool, and we're going to be staying in Cinnabar Island, because in the next episode, we're going to be going into the Pokemon Mansion. So, again, hit the notifications button, guys. You know, subscribe. If you guys want to make a small donation right here, you know, the link is in the description right there. I will see you guys in the next episode as we go into the Pokemon Mansion. See you guys.